Okay, so this is a redo, redo of the uh, foggy pictures. Let's give me breath back. <laughs> so I'm using HP5 now, and uh, here's the first one of the building in the fog. So my camera's saying, my camera's light meter is saying 125 at f4. So 125 at f4, no messing about, get the light at the bottom. No messing about, include the light at the bottom, go. So now I'm going to bracket that, so I'm going to go 250. and 60 okay on we go so here's the park foggy day so you get an idea of what i'm dealing with about eight o'clock in the morning and we're going to go over there and get a tree see you in a minute this is a quick uh, alternate shot of the path that I did with the sign because the sign's not there anymore. So I'm going with the path. It says 60 in my camera at F4. So I'm going to trust in the camera for a minute. And focusing on the path. Shot done. Now I'm going to bracket that. Once, two, five. And I won't do, won't do a 30, it's too, too slow. And onwards to the tree. Okay, here's another one. So from the light meter, it's saying uh, F11 gives me 125. So I'm just going to tilt it. I'm just going to try and just, just include only the lamp. There we go. That's the 125. Now I'm doing 250. Only the lamp. And head for the tree again. <laughs> okay. So here we are. Heading towards the tree. I don't know if you can see it, there's a bin to the left. Um, I don't know if you remember what I said was that if you position yourself, you can actually get rid of a lot of what you can see. So, give the breath back in a minute. <laughs> so we'll go slowly. Hopefully you can see the bins disappearing. Okay, so around there. <clears throat> so, um, okay, get me breath back, hold on. Okay, now I've got my breath back. COPD and the fog is killer, but anyway. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take a shot now um, just using normal camera settings nothing fancy no spot meter nothing just to see what the camera wants to do I'm going to bracket either side um, and right now we're on frame eight or nine so when I develop this we'll know roughly where we are so let's see what so I'm just aiming at the top of the trunk and I'm having to reduce the F number to 5.6 to get it at 125 I'm not sure whether I should go that way 
crop it or upwards no I'm going to go up and down sorry about the camera angle and that's at 125 exactly what the camera said so now I'm going to do 250 one film one does up and I'm going to do 60 so I've got to stop either side via shutter speed okay right so that's trusting the camera so now um, I'm going to take a light meter reading at the base of that tree which means getting my feet wet but hey ho all for the fun of photography nice frosty going backwards towards where I'm going to be standing hit the button okay f4 it gives me 60 okay 5.630 so it's a little bit less going backwards try that again a couple of places yeah okay so Okay, so F4, 60, aim at the tree trunk, and see the camera is saying 500, so This is 125, camera's still saying 100, 500 sorry, this is 250, still saying 500, 500 then, make the camera happy, okay, so those four shots give us um, bracketed shots at this bog standard ISO um, using the light meter built into the camera and taking a reading at the base of the tree let's see how that develops right so now we're at the long shot of the foggy bench and I'm not going to get down on this ground as you can see it's that orange chalk stuff I don't want to get my jeans dirty so these are going to be pretty much boring standy up pictures but anyway the object of the game is to see what the camera says about that that thing and then I'm going to walk up and uh, get a light meter reading and see what the light meter says just like the tree so here we go again okay so at f4 it's giving me 250 so I can close that a bit. F8 gives me 60, 5.6, that'll do. Gives me 125 as a starting point. Focus in. Trying to get a straight horizontal. Right, so I'm 125, I am on 125, 5.6. Okay. Focus. Boom. Okay, one eye size, so 250. And 60. Okay, so I'm going to walk up to there, get a meter reading, come back and obey the light meter. Okay, so just back from the bench. Hopefully, you can see that from the middle pillar of the bench, gave me F4 125. So I'm going to use that as a basis. Looks like a stop lower than the camera. 
was at 5.6 so let's turn that off save the battery and do the same shots so I've got 1c5 now f4 should focus straight in yeah she does the camera's screaming for 250 but trust it boom now we'll give it 250 which is a bracket up boom and now we'll go 60 boom. okay So um, as you can see, so there's the tree, there's the playground, which makes good like industrial shots like I did with the printing of the last one. Some people are going to school and thing, and I've got trees over there which I'm going to do as well. Although I'm going to have to just trust the camera, I'm going to walk over there. So I'm just going to trust the camera on this one because uh, what I might do is based on the findings just now on the bench is I'm going to trust the camera and then do my three shots and then uh, drop the f-stop down a stop just like I did with a bench which I think would probably give me where the uh, light meter wants to be um, and we'll go from there Let's get back a bit. The camera. Right, so the camera. So I'm smack bang to just to the right of that middle tree, just so I get the first tree in. And the camera right now is saying 250. So I'll just step down the aperture to f8. Nope. Just above F8, just in the middle. It's about point, say F6 or something around there. 125. It's focused in. Boom. So now we're going to go 250. And we're going to go 60. Okay, that's that done. That's the tree, that's the three of them. Now we'll get the ghostly gap with the houses, the flats. There's a little bit of light coming up in there. So I'm now getting the gap in the middle. Okay, I've got a bit of that light. I'm now focusing on that thing in the middle there, the flat corner in the middle, so I get a bit of light in the sky. So that's focused in. It's saying that wherever I'm at, so I need to bring that down to around F10 to get it to one, two, four, actually, you know, a bit more, F11. Sorry I'm not going low to the ground and get arty shots, but I'm not going to get my jeans wet. So, F11, boom. Go to, oh that was a 60, sorry. This is the 125. And this is the 250. Okay. So I went in the other way. So I started at 60, went 125, then 250. Right, playground time. So we'll get some shots. So, uh, this was the bars shot. I didn't really know where to keep it sort of foggy like that. We'll bring in, say, that, which looks a bit, actually, that is pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> Didn't see that the other day. There you go. See, same place. Didn't see a shot. Now I do. So I'm gonna have to come back a bit. 
go up the other side, I think. That's where I slip over, I bet you. And I'm still, I could just do it. Can I get up a bit more without slipping? Ooh. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, to get 125 on Newton B at F8, try and get the edges in as best I can. But again, this is not, I can come back with a different lens later. Is it 125? Yeah. No. 125. Okay. Let's go. 250. And 60. So I'm just bracketing the shots. Okay. Now I can't climb up there. So, uh, hello, the sun's just come out. Hasn't changed it on here. I wonder if the meter will read it differently now. So I'm just going to go around the back. I'm going to go around the back here because the sun's coming through. If you can see that. So I put the meter on. And I'm going to. What were we on? We were on F8. I'm going to change that to F8. And now I'm going to point it towards where I was photographing and that gives me f8 at 60 yeah so really we've already done that haven't we we've done the f8 at 60 yeah because uh it's sitting on there so I took a shot of this thing the corner which i called the on-ramp <coughs> this thing here so is there a different shot today do we have a different shot using a GoPro it gives me a chance to have a look so through the camera long ways we'll go back a bit. right so that's square on in the camera that whole ramp is basically filling the frame so I'm going to turn it um, <clears throat> I don't know I'm not sure I'm sure maybe we'll get low down here I'll do it as concrete so I'm not too worried about that so we'll go down here take this shot so crop out that put that in the middle no upside down I don't know I think I'm trying too hard maybe actually yeah keeping some picture in here but I'm going to keep some of the fog in so now I need to be at oh, about 6.1 again I've got a motorbike coming through which will be good for the lighting so let's go This is the one, two, five, three. Okay, so what I've aimed on is that white tree in the middle. So I took all the shots, but I didn't have the camera on. So I did, uh, so it went F8 at uh, one, two, five, two, fifty, and sixty. No surprise there. And I've managed to frame the whole tree in something a little bit like if I walk forward. Without any of the stuff this side or this side. Okay, now it's making me worried that I didn't get the uh, the sun. So I'm going to do that again. So basically, yeah, with the sun video, if I didn't get it, um, 
basically framed up these railings so I shot at the railing here at uh, uh, f11 and at the sun to get 125 as my base f16 so I've just done that just so uh, uh, just in case I didn't get the video <laughs> and bracket either side so from 125 to 60 250 uh, right so I'm gonna turn the GoPro off for a minute and see if there's any other shots well that didn't take long <laughs> turn around from there to there and I've got quite an interesting image so I'm gonna go portrait on this one sorry about that sorry about your head so smack bang in the middle up to one two five which means I'm on F10 somewhere around there one film on Dave go now next one 250 the next one at 60 boom okay so about the 125 so that's that shot now I might sort of have a look see if there's anything over this way I don't normally get a good shot of the tree from this side although I wonder if we can get an RT1 through the gray through the grill here let's have a look <coughs> yeah that might work so focus on the grill I'm 125 which I'm on at F10 somewhere around there Three, go. Two fifty, go. Sixty, go. Now I wonder if I can get tree focus. Six D one two five on the tree focus through the fence and two fifty. Okay, right, so that's both ways. Bit of arty, we're going through the fence like that. So, focusing on the fence or the tree, the arty shots. Should have uh, oh yeah, this one I took before. This thing. I can get that. Yeah. The way to so could try and hide that lamp, but then just going to be that there. Um, or go here nah, not really not really working is it okay so what else we got unless you like this shot so i'm now f16 all the way it's wanting 250 obviously because of the sun and i'm aiming at that first post not at the sun but at the first post here the same 250, 250 at F16, which makes a lot of sense. So, let's go. 500, go. 125, go. Needless to say, never shoot into the sun unless it's fogged up like that. Shouldn't really have to say that, but. There are people out there that would fire a camera direct at the sun. Not good. And it's a bit spooky, isn't it, with the sun coming across like that. 
Can't get that in the frame. Let's see if I can pull back a bit. Get the sun's there. So I'm gonna get but I'm gonna get a lighter on the negative, it'll be a lighter area here because the sun's coming over from the left. So I'm aiming straight at that pole. I've got one C5, that F16, which makes an awful lot of sense if you know the sunny 16 rule. So boom. C50. Boom. 60. Boom. Oh, now the sun's coming up, lovely. See that? See, that would have been quite nice. Couldn't resist the last couple of this with the sun coming on, so. Couple more with the sun coming from the right. I'm going to try this one at 500. And that is close to so I'm gonna get try and get the playground in, the bench in, the playground in this frame, I'm gonna step back a bit. Just so I'll get like a where I've been shot. It's a 60, so one, two, five. Okay. One more, so just bump that at 250. Just get the bench in a bit more. Good. That's it, last roll. There you go. So that's the two rolls in the fog using shutter speed as a uh, bracketing either side just to a test, you know, kind of rely on my cameras light meter although the uh, light meter light meter only gave me one stop less so you know maybe comp compensatable in printing but we shall see right enough waffle I'm going to get back home get a cup of coffee got a bit of work to do and then we'll develop the uh, uh, the films <laughs>